What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy and in today's video, I am showing you all of my current favorites. I have some home favorites in here, some fashion favorites, some beauty favorites. Some are no new, some are old. Nonetheless, these are all of my favorite things currently, the things that I am reaching for again and again or loving and yeah, I have a lot of them. So grab, grab yourself something to drink because we're gonna be here for a second. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. If you guys don't know, it really, really helps out our channel. So give it a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. And without further ado, let's see what I am loving right now. Okay, so because this is mainly a home decor channel, I am gonna go ahead and start with home decor for all of my home decor people who are here for that. The first thing that I wanna share are these glasses. I actually have a coffee right back there. These glasses I picked up from Williams Sonoma and they're really thin and I love them. I bought some little coffee mugs from CB2 a while ago and they're the same like thin kind of glass, like super modern, chic, and I freaking love them. They're a little bit thinner than these though and they have a handle so they kind of freak me out a little bit like they're gonna break. So I just have my coffee ice cream in them and I love it. But these I love because Zach and I have this weird thing about the lip of glasses. So it has to be a good lip and these are just so good. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know about my coffee recipe and it is so good. I don't even go to Starbucks anymore because this coffee, I'm gonna actually share that with you too because this coffee is so good. Normally, I really love it out of a mason jar. It's weird, I know, but I just really do. However, <laughs> lately, I've been drinking it out of these glasses. The other reason is that we drink our waters out of um, water bottle, uh, out of our hydro flask water bottles. They're not really water bottles or hydro flask, whatever they are. And our drinking glasses were like these super heavy duty, like crystal, super nice, but we never drank out of them. They just were like too nice, too heavy. I did keep them for like Christmas and stuff, but whatever. These, these are so good. If you don't have drinking, good drinking glasses, these are amazing. If you got kids, don't recommend. They are super thin, but other than that, I love them. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you already know, you already know. This is the coffee combination of dreams. This combination, this with two tablespoons of this, more if you like it a little sweeter. You guys. I mean, this is still Starbucks, but I don't even need to buy Starbucks because this is so good. I don't even need to buy any kind of coffee because this is so good. You just try it, DM me on Instagram, let me know what you think because I'm obsessed. Also, I wanted to say that I do just kind of mix them and make an iced coffee just like this one, but sometimes I will also do um, the milk froth. I'll just froth the creamer and just pour it on the top of just the black coffee with a little cinnamon. You guys, this is so good. Mm. Also on Instagram, but I did share my recipe with you guys here on YouTube, is my jalapeno spicy margarita. And it is the best margarita you'll ever have. If you don't like jalapeno, skip that part. But I picked up these margarita glasses from Pottery Barn. They were on sale and whoa. We were drinking them out of like a little, it was still actually a really nice glass. It was like a, crystal glass, but I don't know what it is about these glasses that just <laughs> makes the margarita taste better, but we love them, Zach loves them. You can get like a thicker rim, maybe that's why. Like if you if you use tahine or if you use, I like the Lowry's chili and lime salt or regular margarita salt, it gives you like a little bit of a thicker line. I don't know what it is about these, again, and they're so beautiful. These are so, so beautiful. You kind of get into that like Taco Tuesday vibe. You know what I mean? They're beautiful. I love them. 
Okay, so the next home item that I'm loving are these chip clips. They're so cute, they're gold. You guys, these are like heavy duty. These are gonna last a minute because like, like this one's tight. Maybe it's because it's my left hand, but these are super heavy duty. I think I mentioned this before in my other video, but I, it's gone, I've gone 12 years without buying chip clips, but I just like everything aesthetically pleasing and you know. So I got these from Amazon. By the way, everything's gonna be linked below so you can just click the links and go straight to the products, the exact ones that I have. But we have been using these like crazy and I love them and they're super like good quality. So the next thing I wanna mention is a Polaroid camera. Now this is the one that we have. We do wanna get the one with the bigger pictures, but this is what we have. We love it, it's amazing. We've taken that on so many different vacations and trips just to kind of grab and capture the moment instantly. Cause there's so many times where you don't like print your photos or share your photos and they just stay on your phone and you don't really get to enjoy them. So we got that. But what I really want to mention is this handmade shadow box that we store our Polaroids in. So I'll bring this up here. It might be dirty actually. Let's see. So we just put all of our pictures in here and whenever we can, we'll um, kind of go to like this one we took in Italy. My friend just visited. So we have like one that's nearby, but this is, uh, this is actually New Year's Eve and we just really like to capture them. This is me and my friend getting ready in the bathroom. Zach popped in and took a photo of us. He has my senior photo in here that is, he used to carry this in his wallet and it is so faded. I mean, you can't even see the color anymore. We have one from Christmas morning. So we just like to put our little memories in this box. Sometimes I have this on my coffee table so when friends are over, they can, you know, dig through them and look at them. I think it's just a really unique, special touch to home decor and a way to share your life and your memories beautifully. Okay, so the last home item that I wanna mention, I mentioned these in another video, but there is a reason why I love them so much. So I have the Kinfolk Home, and then I have the Kinfolk Table, which I'm actually super excited. It's, this one's like designed for small gatherings. So it just has some like really amazing recipes in here. We haven't tried them yet, so I can't review the actual recipes, but from the sounds of them, they sound so, so good. And then the Live Beautiful book. And the reason why I love this one so much is because it is so close to my decor aesthetic. And I love, love going through this book and picking out just like what really inspires me. There's modern, there's French, there's, I like things to look like they have, you know, just been around for a really long time. I like things with character and um, I don't know. I just think that this book really captures a lot of what I love and I just love to go through it and look at the pictures and enjoy them read different ways on why they styled things the way they did and, and things like that. So I personally love this book, not only because it's beautiful, but because of the book, I think it's a really good one. And then the Kinfolk books just, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a professional wedding photographer in like my everyday life. Um, so I have a great appreciation for beautiful photography, obviously. And I actually shoot film and like medium format, medium format film, which is like the old school film rolls that you put in your camera. And these photos just remind me of film photography and they are just so beautiful, the tones, there, I mean, this book is just so beautiful. I, the composition, it's just, I, I love looking through this book and seeing the photos, seeing the decor. I mean, it's another one of those books that really mixes old with new, that shows modern with 
you know, vintage or very textured, and I love it. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is fashion, and I'm giggling because I got a comment on one of my videos and it seriously cracked me up so much because the comment was asking if I wear the same thing in every video, <laughs> and yeah, pretty much. And the reason, there's a couple reasons why. One is because black, because she was saying I meant like in a black top and jeans, black hides my mic better than when I wear, like I've worn this top in a video and it, you know, it just kind of shows, it just kind of shows your mic. So I started wearing black so that it hit it a little bit better. But then the other reason why is because I have learned my fashion lesson you guys, I have wasted so much money on fashion that did not suit my body, suit my shape, or do me any sort of favors. So these past like couple of years, I've really kind of toned down my crazy fashion or you know things like that. Like yeah, I like a nice piece here and there, but for the most part, I really try to invest in timeless pieces in pieces that suit my body shape and that really I can stretch out and get a lot of cost per wear. So for me, especially with this like 90s trend right now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm a curvy girl. So I can't really get away with a lot of baggy clothes personally. My smallest area on my body is my waist, so I wear a lot of body suits. So that's where I'm gonna kind of transition here. Um, I wear a lot of body suits, and you guys, Abercrombie is killing the game. I am, okay, so I am like, I'm so hyped right now, I'm just trying to like tone it down a little bit. So I love to invest in basics and in timeless pieces that I know I can wear for a long time. And yes, cut and shape and all of that is going to kind of determine that. But a lot of these pieces I could throw a blazer on, I could throw a duster on, I could wear underneath lots of different things. But my body type, I really should be wearing, especially up top because my small area is my waist, is like form-fitting clothes, not super baggy. So I love body suits because they really like contour my body. And not only that, I'm a Spanx girl. I got Spanx under here. I live by Spanx. So I will tag my favorite ones below. But Abercrombie basics are the sauce, you guys. So good. So literally every single bodysuit that I'm gonna show you right now is from Abercrombie. So I'm wearing this one. I love it. This is one of their new ones. You guys have seen me. They have that like stretchy material. So I would say get true to size, if not size down. Um, but like, look at this. This would, this would be so beautiful on so many different skin tones. Not only me who's super fair, but other people, you know, who might be darker than me or have like even like a different undertone. This is so, I can't, I love it. And then I got this, um, this cowl neck makes the girls look so good, okay. Um, it's kind of hard to show because it has a cross back, but this one, this one's not like as stretchy of a material, but true to size, you guys, these are unbelievable. My last video that I just posted, I was wearing this top here, which is like that square neckline, but I also got it in, so I don't wear a lot of color, but when I do, it's like a blush pink or an olive green or nude, which I don't know, nude's not really a color, but black and white, that is like, those are, that's about all. Just like home decor, I've really kind of learned just to wear what I love and not like be too trendy with fashion because one, Ain't nobody got money for that. I mean, maybe lots of people do, but like, I'm not trying to like have to redo my wardrobe every three months, you know what I mean? So anyway, I really love to invest in basic pieces and Abercrombie actually, for the price, these are unbelievable. So I have this cute pink one. I was gonna actually wear this one for this video. And then um, this like skinny strap. If you are a curvy girl, these skinny straps are amazing because even though you might think having a thicker strap makes you look smaller, the skinny strap makes you look teeny tiny. They're amazing. 
and then this black one is the same as that nude one. So once I find something I love, I buy it in all the colors that suit my complexion. And then I wanted to share this because um, Abercrombie has in like a intimates or like like an underwear type line. So I got this for date night. It's like a lacy bodysuit and I was gonna wear it with high-waisted jeans and I love it, but it fits so well. It has like the bra strap in the back and surprisingly it ho holds the girls pretty good. I love this, it's absolutely stunning. And then the last thing I wanna mention from Abercrombie is their jeans, their Curve Love line. So I'm normally a 27. I did size up in a 28. I would say you don't really have to size up, but I kind of like that these aren't like so constricting. I like, a, like I kind of like how these ones fit. So I, I got these ones. I have been, I showed you guys these on um, Instagram already. I've posted about these. If you're not following me on Instagram, I already did a try on haul with all of these uh, pieces. And if you guys want me to do try on hauls in the future here on YouTube, leave me a comment so I know that you guys are into those. A couple more fashion items. I wanted to share the Lululemon Align leggings. Now, I know that these are expensive, but let me tell you how teeny tiny these make you look, the high-waisted ladies. I just can't with these, and they make your butt look so good, okay? So I really, really love these. They're, I will, I will buy these for the rest of my life as long as they don't change them. And then the last top that I wanna mention is this little crop top from Target. These are $3, and I wear these all the time at home, and most of the time I don't even have to wear a bra because, I don't know, the fabric just kinda holds me up a little bit. So, $3, okay, for like a, you know, little tank top? Yes, please. The next fashion item I wanna mention are my sunglasses. Now, I've mentioned some Amazon sunglasses on here, and I do love those, but I always go back to my Ray-Bans. I love these. I don't know what it is about an outfit. Once I, I don't know what it is. Once I have like a basic outfit on, I will pop these on, and they just really take my outfit from here to here. You know what I mean? Like from here to here. I love these. I just think that they just give you that, you know, like that little bit of fashion without trying too hard. It's like, I like a simple fashion statement. I do, I like me some cat eyes. I like me some other things, but sometimes I'm not in the mood for that. So whenever I'm not, these are them. I know that gold right now is like, all the talk on the streets, but I really love it. And you know what's so funny is I used to work at a jewelry store and I hated gold. I just thought it didn't suit my skin tone well. I thought I was too like fair for it, but I freaking love gold. <laughs> I love it so much. So these hoops, you guys have seen me link these hoops so much in the description bar. So these are, I wear these, these are like my everyday hoops. I love them, they're super lightweight. Now I will say the post isn't like super skinny. So if you have a tiny little hole, just be warned that it's not like a, it's not like a tiny post. And then from the same company, I have these, which are such 90s vibes. I love these so much. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them. I love these. These are kind of like that spirally hoop and these are super affordable for the quality. I I just like have sometimes have a hard time buying like really expensive jewelry. Every once in a while I will, but these for the price are so good. I haven't had any tarnishing issues at all whatsoever. So the next item I want to talk about is this letter necklace. You guys have seen me wear the crap out of this. I love this so much. Our last name's Jackson. That's what the J's for. And uh, it actually came with a different uh, chain, but I didn't like it, so I will link this chain. I think this is a 16 inch, a lot of you guys ask me, but I freaking love this necklace so much. Um, it is my favorite, it's so good. And a lot of you guys ask, so this is from Amazon, but a lot of you guys ask if it tarnishes, and I haven't had any tarnishing issues. I haven't worn it in the shower, and I don't wear any jewelry to bed at all whatsoever, but I did wear it in the pool, and there's absolutely zero tarnishing of this, and I wear it 
almost every single day. So I, I love this piece right here so much. I just ordered a hexagon, I think is the shape. So I'll link that one down below too. I just ordered that one and I have a B, I have a Z, I have them all. You guys, I love them, I'm obsessed. Two more fashion items that I want to share. Yes, two more fashion items. Also, it's getting dark outside, so if the lighting is starting to get a little funky, I'm so sorry. Okay, you guys, don't judge me because both of these are really, ooh, you know? <laughs> I wear them a lot, so it just goes to show how much I really do love these and wear them. So the first pair are my Adidas slides. I, They're like the um, ones with the texture. I freaking love these, and I actually even wear these out with like a cute top and leggings and these athleisure style if you follow me on instagram you already know athleisure is my thing and you guys will probably start to see that a lot more on this channel that i just really like to be comfortable i mean i, I love me some good fashion but i do like comfort and to feel comfortable but these i wear literally every single day i wear these to dinner i wear these to go check the mail i wear these to walk to the gym no, I don't wear these to walk to the gym. I wear these to go check the mail. I wear them to go to the pool. I wear them out to dinner. I tell you what, these, they're just so cute. I love them. And then for heels, these are my all time favorite heels. So these are completely disgusting, but these are the Schutz, uh, just like they're just two straps, clear heels. Now, gone are the days of the nude pumps because if you girls if you don't have yourself a pair of clear heels let me tell you they make you look long and lean and so good i love them so much and i get tons of compliments on these they're just they really are the best and they're actually extremely comfortable now i did get some feedback because someone did buy them after i shared them on Instagram and she was having a hard time. She thinks that you should go up a half a size. However, I went down a half a size. So I think if you're in between sizes, go up, but I love them. You do kind of have to work your foot in this plastic piece though. I will say that it's not like a super easy slide. You gotta kind of shimmy her in, you know? Okay, so then I have a couple random items I wanna share with you. First item I wanna share is this charger brick. Now I, don't even plug my phone like the charger into the wall anymore i only use these i take these everywhere i need to go just because i do have an older phone i haven't yet upgraded and it always dies so these this is like game changer for me and i love it I, it has like a few different like a few different charges so it really does last a while i love love that so the next random item is this leather bangle that I got off of Amazon. I originally got it so that I could just take it to the gym with me because I just thought it would be easy. I could just throw it right here and have my water bottle, but quarantine happened and I obviously don't go to the gym as much. So I actually like this, like if I'm gonna go check out, check the mail, I'll take it and take out the trash as well. I don't have to touch the trash. I could just have my keys and I just freaking love this thing. I think it's so cute. And when you're like digging through your purse, this thing is like big so you can find your keys easily. I love it and it's super affordable. So the next random item I wanna show you, I'm gonna come up close because I have these Lululemon Align pants. If you own these Lululemon leggings, you know the, what is it called? pilling situation. So this little device right here is a fabric, oh my gosh, this is a fabric shaver. Now it's going to take, whoo, it's gonna take all this away. You guys, these are like a brand new pair of leggings. And that took no time at all. I freaking love this thing. I freaking love this thing. I freaking love this thing. It's amazing, I love it. Okay, so the next couple of items are some of my favorite beauty items. One's hair, I'll just knock that one out of the way real quick. So 
If you use dry shampoo, I have really fine hair, so my hair gets pretty oily quickly. And I don't like to wash it a lot because then I work out and you know, whatever, and I have blonde hair and I do bleach it, so it will like break. It's, you know, you guys know the struggle. So I'm a huge fan of the Dove dry shampoo. I get this one and I get like the purple one, it's like volume. And I've been using these this dry shampoo for years and I love it. This one though, the smell, it's just like so clean. The smell is fresh coconut dry shampoo, but honestly, I don't think it smells like coconut. So if you have blonde hair, I think this is, or like a light color hair, I think this is amazing, or if you really work it in. But I love this and the volume, when I tell you the volume you get on this, you guys, it's good. Okay, so the next couple of the items are items that you guys have asked me about and also I've been wearing them I love them. So, my false lashes. Yes, I do love me a good pair of false lashes, okay? Because, you know, what girl doesn't? But I wear these ones. I really love them. They're the Ardell Naked Lashes in the number 422. I have these ones on right now, and I usually order them in a pack of four from Amazon. I'm due for another order. But what I do with these is I um, take the strip and I cut it into four equal parts and I put them on underneath. I learned this trick from a girl on Instagram. I apply them underneath, so when I look down, you can't even tell I'm wearing false lashes. It's amazing. I don't put it on the um, tight line. I put it on my actual lash. Every once in a while, when I pull it off, I'll get an extra hair, and I just assume that's because that hair, it's like time for it to go. But for the most part, it doesn't really pull out any hair. And I don't, like I said, put it on that tight line so I don't get any glue in my eye or anything like that. And they just like stay up. I don't know, I don't know why, but they stay up. And then I just had to mention this one because I just had to mention it. Duo, uh, what is, it? just duo lashes. Duo strip lash adhesive is the best lash glue I've ever found. Um, okay, so. I, I, I gotta be honest, when I first bought these, I thought they were so gimmicky and I was never gonna use them, but like everyone had them and I just felt like FOMO, you know? So I bought them, they're these like little like hair clips that you put in your hair when you get ready and it just holds it back. You guys, I use these every single day, I love them. I got the pack, um, it comes with like black and white and pink, I think, which I've lost the pink ones, I think I left them at a hotel. But I freaking love these. I love them. And when I have a face mask on too, I'll use these. They're just like these plastic little things. You know, you see the celebrities and you feel so, like such a celebrity when you have them in too. You just feel so fabulous. You know what I mean? So if you want to be extra, get these. A lot of you guys always ask about my lip uh, combination what lipstick I'm wearing I always leave it down in the description just so you guys know in the future but right now I'm constantly changing this right now I'm wearing the Marc Jacobs uh, lip liner in the color nudist now I did just get this but I freaking love this lip liner so much this is always sold out I couldn't get my hands on this for a long long time but my problem with nudes is they're sometimes a little bit too orange for me um, just because I, I do have a, like a lighter complexion, but this is perfect. Now, if you do have a darker complexion than me, still try this out because I think sometimes I like to go with like a lighter lip color and I think that this would be beautiful on so many different skin tones. I love it. It's not like too orangey. I don't even know, but it's not too pink either. It's just like, it's just magic. I don't know. I don't know. And then my favorite lipstick of all time is this Charlotte Tilbury uh, lipstick in the color Kim KW. I'm wearing the, the combo right now. I love this color. It gives me a little bit of, it lightens up my lip liner. Sometimes my lip liners can kind of take over. So I like that color because it just kind of lightens it up. It's, it's a really, really good color. And then my favorite other lip, if I'm not wearing the lipstick, I'm wearing this uh, Tatcha, the Kiss You Lip Mask. This is what I'm wearing for a little bit of gloss. This, like a little bit goes a long way. Holy crap, when I first put this on, my lips were like, <laughs> you guys, I had like, like little icicle things because I had way too much on because I didn't realize. So you need a teeny tiny little bit of this, but I, I'm obsessed. I love this so much and I'm not, 
like uh, I don't always do I have to be in the mood for the glossy lip if I'm being honest I don't always love a glossy lip on me personally but this one I don't mind it the last two items are probably two of my favorite items out of this whole entire thing and that is these two items right here so this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. If you like like um, tropical smelling things, like this literally smells like vacation. It smells kind of coconutty. What are the, let's see, what? Let me see if it has like the notes. But it's, oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know. Let me know if you have smelled this. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Like, I don't even know how you describe it. It's like warm, but vacation, but like coconut. Oh, I don't know, but it's good. It's so good. I like, I savor this tub. Like Zach always gets some too, because he really loves it. And I'm like, don't use my cream. It's mine <laughs> because I love it. It just smells so good. So I also, I like want to, I don't know, like Zach and I go to, out to dinner a lot. It's like kind of our thing. We don't have kids. We really love to enjoy each other. So we go out to dinner, we treat ourselves. And I wanted something that was gonna make me feel like a little more sexy, you know? Like, just like, I don't know, a little bit more done up, a little bit more sexy, like feel in the vibe. So I picked up this Sol de Janeiro Copacabana Bronze Glow Oil. You guys. And I did get a little bit of a darker color. It comes in lots of different colors, but I really wanted that like glow. And I will say it does kind of tone down, doesn't come out of this container looking like this, like when, once you get it on there. But it is, it's my favorite thing. And it has the same scent as that. So if you love that, you're gonna love this. But you could get like, maybe if you had like a darker complexion, you can get this and you just be extra glowy or you know, whatever. Whatever color is gonna suit you best or what you want, but you guys, does this make you feel sexy or does it? Zach will tell me, babe, your skin is glowing. I'm like, I know, you like it? <laughs> I love this stuff so much. Like I really, really love it. And sometimes I wear it to the pool, but like I gotta be honest, this stuff is a little too pricey to just be throwing on for the pool, you know? Right, you guys, those are my current favorites. I know that this is like a longer video and I apologize for that, but there was just way too much to share with you. So I hope that you found some new items that you might love and adore for yourself. Let me know what caught your attention, what you wanna pick up. Let me know if you wanna see more of these kinds of videos. Do we wanna, do, would you rather me break them up or I have favorite home, favorite fashion, favorite beauty? How do you guys wanna see these? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for sticking through the end of this video. If you did, let me know if you watched the whole thing down below. And that's it, you guys. That's all my favorite things. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye.